Al oral questions, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. It is a failure to increase the cost of the bureaucracy by 50 per cent with poorer services. It is a failure to have 150,000 workers go out on strike in the biggest general strike in four decades. But it is an especially incredible achievement of incompetence to do both of those things at the same time. Right. Only the Prime Minister could pull that off. Now our veterans, our immigrants, our small businesses, our taxpayers will be without services. How will the Prime Minister fix the government he broke? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, unlike the members opposite in the Conservative Party, we deeply respect the work that uh, unions do across the country uh, to stand up for good middle-class jobs. That's why uh, we've ensured that the work is done at the bargaining table. We know there's uh, progress being made, but it's an important, uh, important uh, principle uh, to respect the work at the bargaining table. That is uh, what we are encouraging people to continue to do, because, yes, Canadians deserve their, uh, their services, uh, and we need to continue to support the public service that delivers those services to Canadians. When the Conservatives were in power, there was no general strike, and government cost one third less. So, Mr. Speaker, it's a failure to increase the cost of bureaucracy by 50 per cent. It's a failure to have 150,000 people striking. It shows incredible incompetence on the Prime Minister's part. He managed to do both at the same time. How will the Prime Minister fix the damage that he has caused to our government and our taxpayers? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians continue to count on the services delivered by the federal government. That's why we encourage everyone to stay at the bargaining table, because that's the way that we will get the results we want. We'll always be there to ensure that Canadians get the services that they need, and we'll also be there, unlike the Conservatives, to defend the principles of uh, unionism and the right to collective bargaining. And we will do that work around the country.